crude oil yet again traded bearish and we have seen it getting the support from 66.867 zone which i have mentioned in my first update today that this is a zone which it needs to break in order to turn bearish as long as it respects this zone we should not be treating this as bearish for the day and the natural gas interestingly has seen a good rise see to uh, how beautifully the levels are respected i have mentioned why these levels are important till 2.25 you should not be treating natural gas as bearish and beautifully we have seen a good rise here in net gases and it is now back at 2.38 2.39 so what to expect now with the us session from crude oil and net gas where to enter where to exit how to profit today we are going to see with the help of charts and in the this is the second update for the day. Those who had watched the first update must have already profited. The subscribe and press the bell icon. Do like, share and comment. Join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Let's start first to look into oil followed with gas wash. If you look at oil on the early chart, see higher highs are seen and now higher lows are seen. So it is uh, uh, trying to trade in this uh, moderately bullish channel and or almost delivering higher lows and higher highs but with trading within a very very narrow range it is not willing to stay above 68.56 or not willing to drop below 66.867 because once it stays below this you can say after the drop this is a breakout out of this channel and then more bearishness may prevail here right now i can see it trading in a narrow zone a stock i stick here is at bottom trying to rise trying to bounce back magd has crossed over here trading with divergence and bearishness rsi is coming comfortable Coming to two hour on the two hour charts, if you look at see preceding candle, uh, indecision candle, and the current candle starting on a lower note. If it breaks beyond 67.667.8 levels, we can see that this could be a reversal confirmation. But right now, it is not supportive of this. See beautifully, the lows and the highs are aligned and it is trying to confine itself within the zone on the downside be careful till 67 66.8 do not trade this as bearish only below 66.8 you can say that the bears will be active else it is still not uh confirming of the bearishness though i can see possibly it could deliver a red candle here and move towards 67 66.8 the stock has take over sold magd here trying to cross over for sell rsi is also looking downwards trying to stay bearish coming to three on the three hour charts, look at the observation here drop retracement towards 20 period, drop retracement towards 20 period, drop retracement towards 20 period, and uh, staying bearish. And the moving averages are also trading bearish, looking downwards. Look at this uh, flat base is seen here, and thus it is important for our oil to break below 66.8, 67 zone, which is indeed a very, very good support. Below 66.8, we can look forward to a good drop. First support should be at around 66.5. And then I will aim for 66, 65.9 levels as the next targets. But uh, I will say uh, we have to be watchful at this zone. I think it is going to prove out to be a greater, greater support till 66.8. Stock ISIC looking down. The MACD is in green trying to cross over for sell. RSI has dropped here trying to suggest slight bearishness. Coming to 4 hours. On the 4 hour charts likewise, similar is the observation, nothing different from what we had seen on the 3 hour charts. And see today again, earlier my first update I have mentioned why it is important that this 20 period moving average needs to be breached. Precisely hitting that 20 period, it is reversed. And now it is looking downwards, see straight bearish candles here, increasing body size and uh, yes, I will wait for 66.867 zone to be taken in order to confirm for the bearishness here. The stock ISIC has fallen sharp. MACD is in green trying to cross over for sell and RSI running flat. Coming to daily, on the daily charts is simple here. Uh, low lows are seen and preceding candle closing in the red and this time it has started on a bearish note. I will wait if it breaks below the lows from yesterday. Only and only if it breaks below the lows from the yesterday then you can say that we can see further bearishness. Else what could happen? It could still reverse and any move beyond 60 8.5 68.6 is a, a confirmation of reversal else it is still not to be treated bullish here right now in fact it is trading very much bearish stock ISTIC is oversold the MACD is trading with divergence bearishness looking downwards and RSI is hitting the bottom as well so now we have seen the charts you've seen the indicators before I give you the trading levels and strategy if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram Write an email or ping me over Telegram for your queries related to the services. Join the free Telegram channel for live updates. And yes, those who had asked me to recommend a broker which offers you a free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges, you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description. Now looking at this, the buying entries are at 67.65 levels. Expect 67.85, 68.5. 
eight levels as the next resistance and if it stays above 68 there is a possibility that we may see oil back to 68.5 68.6 and any move beyond 68.5 68.6 should be treated as a reversal where we can look forward to 69.2 and in fact 70 dollar levels but looking at the movement appears the reversal chances are very very less it is trading with the bearish bias as of now but i will not treat this as bearish as long as 66.867 zone is not taken now uh, on the downside now i will recommend you to sell at 67.2 itself where you can expect uh, 67 66.8 as the next support levels any drop below 66.8 will take it towards 66.5 and then 66 65.8 zone which is a very very good support levels take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at natural gas see natural gas how beautiful it is reverse hitting the support at 2.32 what a good recovery it has shown and now it has come back towards the zone at 2.4 2.42 which is a greater greater resistance so once you see it is staying about 2.42 just stay bullish we are looking forward to 2.45 and in fact 2.5 levels and yes net gas is still uh, it has just come out of this and now fallen back within the channel the highs of this channel are towards 2.5 levels stock has stick back to overbought magdi divergent and bullish looking up for see this is exponential rise here and thus it could try to converge a bit rsi is rising as well coming to two hours. on the two hour charts likewise see similar observation symmetrical formation reversal sign and now it is on the verge of a breakout any move beyond 2.42 should be taken up seriously i will wait for the next candle when it could try to give a breakout here and I think beyond 2.42, we can look forward to 2.45, 2.5 and in fact 2.6 levels very, very soon. Stock has stick back to overbought levels. MACD after showing a swing, it has crossed over. This could lead to reversal. RSI rising as well. Coming to 3 hour On the 3 hour chart, similar observation here. See this. And every time it shows you a dip, it follows with a rise here. And thus, now it is also back to a critical zone. And at this point, we have to be watchful, careful, alert. Stock stick rising. MACD is bearish trying to converge. RSI rising. Coming to 4 hour charts. On the 4 hour chart, similar observation. See reversal sign. First bullish candle, second in making. And now we have to be extremely careful till 2.42 levels. Only and only if it breaks out beyond 2.42, we should treat this as bullish. Else it would try to stay in the zone. It would try to confine its movement here. In between 2.36 to 2.42 levels, 4 levels, the stock stick is rising, the MACD is bearish trying to converge, RSI is showing a little rises here, coming to daily, now look at daily charts here, see, rise retracement, rise retracement, rise here retracement and now trying to rise again. And now if it breaks out here, I think we are going to look forward to a massive bullish candle at least of this size which can in fact take it towards 2.45, 2.5 levels today itself. Moving averages crossing over here certainly is a good, good sign. And as I've shared several times in my weekly and daily review last few days, that as long as NatGas now respects 2.25, we should not be treating this as bearish here. And see what has happened today. Today it has formed a, a base here and it is trying to recover. On the downside now, 2.36 is one good support which it needs to break in order to stay. Stock has take over bought MACD, divergent and bullish looking upwards, RSI rising. Looking at this, I will recommend you to buy net gas only and only if you see it is staying about 2.42 where you can expect 2.45 at the next targets. And then in fact, I will be looking forward to 2.5 levels and 2.6 levels very, very, very soon. If not today, possibly tomorrow or if not tomorrow, then with the storage data uh, releasing on Thursday, net gas storage data releasing on Thursday. So yes, if it stays about 2.4 to 2.45 zone, more bullishness will prevail here. On the downside, I will recommend you to sell here at 2.36 where you can expect 2.32, 2.3, 2.28, 2.25. Chances for which appears to be. And as I have shared several times, and 2.3, 2.28, first support zone, very, very strong. 2.25, the strongest one for the day, for the week, for natural gas. And thus, till these levels, trade with caution, specifically on the sell side. Take your trades accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship batch, join my signals channel, reach out to me for your queries related to the services, join the free telegram channel for live updates and those who had asked me to recommend a broker, you can also join the recommended broker link which is there in the channel and video description. It offers you a free account, lowest spreads, no hidden charges and yes, easier transactions and withdrawals from across the globe. Do join it today and enjoy trading. And do not miss to watch every day the first update with the Asia and Europe session. It gives you a fair bit of idea on what to expect from the markets throughout the day. And then this next update with the US session gives you further clarity on how, on how the markets have moved and what to expect and what could be expected. So do watch both.
लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट प्रेस द बेल आइकन सी यू अगेन टुमारो विद द एशिया एंड यूरोप सचिन विद मोर अपडेट्स थैंक यू अ ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग